Hey all, welcome to Musings with me. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Um, don't mind the evil eyes, it's a reflection of my dress <laughs> into, into my glasses. <laughs> um, if you haven't already started today, I hope it ends up being an awesome day. Um, today I was thinking about, and I will try and do that so you can't see it, um, I was thinking about the two wall um, narrative where the old Cherokee Indian chief was talking to his grandson about the two wolves within and that there is a fight going on within and that there's a dark wolf and a light wolf and the dark wolf represents all those things that we perceive to be negative like anger, envy, um, self-pity, greed, um, guilt, resentment, inferiority and definitely ego and that the um, light wolf represents those things like love, compassion and there's my huffy big weird wolf um, love, compassion, serenity, humility, um, kindness, um, truth and, and faith um, and those kinds of things. But it also, uh, and, sorry, and then the, um, the grandson has to think about this and then says to the grandfather, which wolf will win? And the grandfather says, the one I feed. But this narrative also has another ending where the grandfather talks about that um, if we only feed the light wolf that the dark wolf goes into hiding and hides in the darkness um, around corners waiting for when we do not continue to feed the light wolf so um, it's it's easier to feed the dark wolf it's easier to go into those spaces of envy and jealousy and anger and um, complain and and procrastinate and those kinds of things but they there are also things within the darkness that help us balance the light so we always need that balance and um, we need to balance feeding the light wolf with those others because it gets really tiring to feed the light wolf all the time to be compassionate to be kind to to be in that space of giving and love and it is in those moments when we haven't been doing things for ourselves and we we are tired that the dark wolf comes forward so if we feed both of them and we understand that they are our emotions and that it's okay to have those emotions <laughs> I've still got <laughs> evil eyes um, if we take care of those emotions on both sides of it then we don't actually have to live with one or the other we balance it and we feed both so um, we try to feed the light wolf as often as possible so that we can stay in that space of giving, of compassion, of kindness, of love. Um, <laughs> I'm just cracking up at the breath in my eyes. Uh, yeah, so which wolf are you feeding more often? Can you balance that out and feed both wolves more evenly? Or become more aware of when you are feeding the dark wolf. When are you more feeding the dark wolf? That's better. Let's do that. Um, are you more often feeding the dark wolf? Is it that you are more often an ego? Are you more often feeling guilt or resentment or anger, frustration? Are you more often in those emotions? Or can you balance that with more with more of the light emotion where you are in compassion, kindness, empathy, um, humility and, and those kinds of things. And those come about when we take care of ourself. So how are you taking care of yourself today, tomorrow, the next day? And they don't have to be big things, remember. They just have to be small things each day. Is it about maintaining the well-being of your body is it about getting more sleep is it about taking time out from always being with the kids can you get a friend to have them maybe you're a, a solo mum or dad um, maybe it's getting out with the kids and going for a walk with a friend so whatever it is make sure there's something in your day that feeds your light wolf and allows you to fill your own cup so that you can then go and fill others. 
So I hope this found you in a really good space today. If it didn't, you know where I am and take care of you. So until next time, from my heart to yours, I'll see you soon.